now it is time to do a read aloud. So let's take a look at the cover of our book today. What do you notice? I notice the American flag. And do you know what this is called, this story? Why are there stripes on the American flag? Why are there stripes on the American flag? Do you know? We talked a little bit about it early in the week, but it's a little tricky, so it's okay if you don't remember. If you don't remember, try to brainstorm. Why do you think there are stripes on the flag? We know that there are stars for the 50 states, right? But why are there stripes? And how many are there? Take a moment to think about that. All right, let's see, let's find out. A symbol of the United States. What is a symbol? A symbol is a picture that represents something. Ring! Time for school. Our teacher greets us. Everyone stands. We begin. What are they doing? What do you notice? I want you to take a really close look. What are they doing? They're standing up and what are they doing? He's raising his right arm and they're placing it over their heart, just like we do in our classroom. What do you think they're about to say? The Pledge of Allegiance. Do you think we could do that together? Can we practice that? Let's practice together like what we did on Monday. Okay, so I'm going to stand this up a little bit higher so you can see our flag, just like in our classroom, right? So we're gonna stand up, we're going to raise our right arm, and we're gonna place it over our hearts and we're gonna face the flag. Okay, in the count of three, let's say the Pledge of Allegiance together. All right, are you ready? One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice job, bumblebees. Okay, let's get back to our story. So that's what they just did. They just said the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Gomez says the flag is a symbol for our country. The United States of America became a country in 1776. People worked together to make a government. They wanted a symbol to show who they are. So what is a symbol? A symbol is a picture that represents something. How many symbols do we have to represent freedom? Let's take a look again. How many symbols? We have four symbols. Do you think that you could tap your head four times? Let's do it together. One, two, three, four. Do you think you could tap your nose four times? One, two, three, four. Nice job, bumblebees. Mr. Gomez shows us a picture of the first flag. Why are there only 13 stars, asked Miles. Mr. Gomez answers, because at first the country had 13 states. But we learned that now, how many states do we have? We have 50 now. So at first there were 13. But now there are 50, so our flag changed over time. It first looked like this, and then it changed to this. There's more stars, right? Take a look at the two pictures. Are there more stars here or here? Which one has more? The circle one or the square one? The square one has more, right? It has more stars because as time went on, we had more states. Now we have 50 states, so the flag changed a little bit and now it looks like this. What do you notice on our flag? Lots of stars and stripes, right? Do you know how many stripes we have? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are 13 stripes, and do you want to know what they represent? They represent the first 13 states. 
So remember before when I said there were originally 13 states? That's what the stripes represent. How cool is that? So over time, our flag changed. The Pledge of Allegiance. Let's look at the Pledge of Allegiance carefully, says Mr. Gomez. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. We learned that allegiance means friendship or loyalty. What is friendship? Take a moment and talk about that with your families. What is friendship? So when we say the Pledge of Allegiance, we talk about friendship. What is friendship? Saying those words is like promising to be a good friend to the flag. But how can you be friends with a flag? asks Alex. Our teacher laughs. It's a way of saying you will respect the flag, he says. So it's a way to re respect the flag and our country, right? America, because America is our home and we want to be respectful. So what is respect? How could you be respectful to someone or something? Take a moment and talk about that. What is respect? To show respect to the flag, we follow certain rules. We stand up during the pledge, we look at the flag, we put our right hands over our hearts. That means we're making a serious promise. So when we say the Pledge of Allegiance, we're making a promise and we're being respectful by standing up, by raising our right arm, placing it over our hearts and looking at the flag when we say it. So remember when we were in our classroom, I always remind you of those rules, right? So we're always being respectful. That means we're making a serious promise. So bumblebees, now I have a little challenge for you. I know we already did it together. We already said the Pledge of Allegiance, but now I want you to say it again. And I want you to try to do it with your families. And I want you to practice standing up, raising your right arm, placing it over your heart, and looking at the flag while you say the Pledge of Allegiance. So maybe you could teach this to your family members and you could remind him of all the things that we do in our classroom when we say the Pledge of Allegiance. If you have a flag at home, maybe if you have one outside, you could do this right now outside looking at your flag. And if not, you could pull up a picture on your phone or maybe you could use one of the flags you already made because I know this week we made, a few of us made flags. So now we could do that. So that is my challenge to you, to say the Pledge of Allegiance and to follow all of the things that we do in our classroom. And I would love, love to see a video or picture so we could share it with the class. Good luck, bumblebees.